In this breaking news, Klansman gang leader Andre Blackman Bryan was sentenced to 39 years and six months in prison. The 38-year-old musician has admitted to being the leader was given 21 years and six months for leadership of a criminal organization. Chief Justice Bryan handed down the sentence during a hearing in the Home Circuit Court in Kingston on Monday. Please share your thoughts in the comment below. Do you think Justice Brian Sykes was fair with his deliberation? Or he had sympathy on the defendant? Or do you think justice was served? Of counts seven and eight, where Mr. Brian was identified as one of the persons by the church who went over the group of persons along with the driver who went over to fisheries and uh, what Mr. Brand said before he went over to fisheries, they're going to be shelling down over there and we look at all the circumstances including the distribution or at least the visible display of what appear to be firearms as well as the Molotov cocktail which was in open unimpeded view according to the driver made it clear that at the very least mayhem of some kind involving at the very least serious bodily harm and possibly property damage would be taking place that evening and Mr. Brian facilitated those intended activities and facilitated the actual occurrence of those activities. So bearing in mind all the circumstances concerning count seven and eight and keeping in mind that the maximum penalty is 20 years The and keeping in mind as well that in respect of count seven and eight death of two persons were the outcome of the activity it is my view that the starting point here should be 17 years for count seven Right. In respect of count eight, starting point, in my view, should be 17 years as well, since the whole idea of going over there was to either kill the persons by shooting or by burning or both. It turned out that there were bodies were burnt inside the house and they died from gunshot injuries. So and either way, whether it was by arson or by shooting, the clear intention was to kill these two persons. So the starting point in my view for count 17 and 18 should be 17 years. Seven and, seven and eight should be 17 years. No aggravating features to put it up. Question is whether there are any mitigating features to bring it down. Having regard to all the circumstances here, I think it's a standstill, nothing to bring it up or to take it down. So. We remain at 17 years for counts 7 and 8. 
and in particular because it resulted in the death of two persons. Uh, they resulted in the death of two persons. So now we come to counts 11 and 12. Count 11, facilitating a conspiracy to murder, and count 12, facilitating the actual murder of the same person. Those offenses should be taken together, as in sentences will be concurrent. So what is the appropriate sentence there? Just trying to find my notes here. Right. So in respect of the conspiracy to murder, facilitating that offense in respect of count 11, yes, it is connected to count 12, but count 12 resulted in the death of one individual as distinct from two. So I think the starting point should be lower and so, in my view, the starting point for the conspiracy to facilitate the conspiracy to murder should be 10 years. That is on count 11. In respect of count 12, the starting point should be 12 years. Why 12 years? Keeping in mind that when you're dealing with count 7, there are two persons who, were, who suffered death there. Now we have a situation where you had one person, and so the sentence ought to reflect the difference between two persons dying as opposed to one person dying. I'm not saying that one life is inherently more valuable than another, but the number of persons who die should make a difference, and it does in this particular case. So, in count, did I tell you what, did I say what the number of years should be? Respect of count 12? 12 years, right. 12 years, right. Then now you have count six. Which is a standalone count. trying to give effect to the different prin the principles and weighing the different principles that I outlined earlier in respect of count six. It's 
resulted in the death of one person, it's a shooting death, similar to count 12. I mean, there are differences in the sense that in respect of count 12, it is said that Mr. Brian drove by or was near to the vicinity of where the gentleman in count 12 was shot and killed, but that is not a sufficient difference to make it more aggravating or less aggravating as the circumstances um, are very similar. So it, in respect of count six, the starting point is also 12 years there. We are now at count 15. That involved the murder of the Rasta man that was facilitated, planned and encouraged by Mr. Bryan. So the starting point there to me again is 12 years. And that takes us to Court 19. That was facilitating conspiracy to murder someone unknown. Very similar to Count 10. And so the starting point there is count 11. Count 11 is 10 years. One that's missing. I've dealt with cones. Oh. Just a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. I dealt with counts 11 and 12. Ah. Have I covered all of them? Yes. Right. Just making sure. Right. So where we are now is
Right. So count one. I said it was 20, 27. Right. So starting point then for count one, 27 years. Count seven and eight, 17 years each. Count 11 and 12, count 11, 10 years. Count 12, 12 years. Count 6, 12 years. Count 15, 12 years. Count 19, 10 years. Starting points. Now, as I said, in none of these, I see any aggravating factors to increase the number of years. Are there any mitigating factors in these circumstances to warrant a reduction other than the fact of no previous convictions? I am not convinced that there are any mitigating factors here to warrant any reduction. So the starting point remains the end point. So what Mr. Brian has been in custody five and a half years. So when they take away the five and a half years, so in count one, that leaves us with 20, Twenty-one and a half years. Five from yes. Four. Count six. That leaves us with. Six and a half years. All, I'm going to reduce for all counts. All counts. Respect of count seven. That would be eleven and a half years. For count eight, it's eleven and a half years. For count eleven, that's four and a half years. For count twelve, at six and a half years, for count 15, at six and a half years, and for count 19, that's four and a half years. Okay, now, I'd said that I'd agreed with Mr. McFarlane that the sentences on counts 7 and 8 should be concurrent. So, sentences on counts 7 and 8 are concurrent. So, that's... Eleven and a half years here. In respect of the sentences, on count eleven and twelve, concurrently, to run concurrently, so that gives you 
a maximum there are six and a half years. Right. So that leaves us now with counts six, fifteen, and the nineteen, and what to do with them. And count one. What to do with them. Now, one of the in this case, I think that the question of consecutive sentences should be considered. What is the principle relating to consecutive sentences? In principle, it's permissible. What the decisions indicate is that where the offenses arise out of the same circumstance, then in principle, you should not have consecutive sentences. court should look to see whether they can have a substantial sentence on the major offense and then the other sentences be made to run concurrently along with the major offense. But consecutive sentences are appropriate if the circumstances are such that the sentences, unless made to run consecutively, would not reflect the true criminality of what was involved. Here we have a gentleman who was a leader and a part of an organization that involved murder, shooting, and at least arson as well. We have a situation in which four persons died. Yes, four. Part of Court 19. So we had Dooley, we had Mr. Brand, Miss Walker, Outlaw, and and who else? And the Rastaman. There's five persons who died as a result of his activity and but for as I said the quirk of our criminal practice and procedure he may very well have been prosecuted for the full offense of murder but we are where we are with that so in my view there should be consecutive sentences to reflect the full scope of the criminality and to ensure that the level of offending, the scale of the offending, the scope of the offending, the extent of the offending are adequately addressed at this phase of the trial. So, This is where we are now. So I have count one, which is 23 years. Ah, oh. oh, right, let me cut and paste here. Right. Count one, which is twenty one and a half years. And 
had indicated that the unindicted offenses had established that Mr. Bryan is a leader of the criminal organization. And then the indicted offenses also established that he was a leader of the criminal organization, but they extended the, the scope over which the offenses occurred and therefore enabled the Crown to adduce all of that evidence to establish that he was the leader. And in that context, now it was leader of a violent organization. So that is how we end up now at the 21 years. I have also said that the sentences on count seven and eight are concurrent, and the sentences on counts 11 and 12 are concurrent. So, the sentence is now on counts six. Fifteen and nineteen. Yes, count six, fifteen and nineteen. Are to run concurrently with the sentence on count one. Sentences on six, 15, and 19 to run concurrently with the sentence on count one. Got that, Mr. Registrar? Got that? So you have the sentence for count one, and the sentence for counts 6, 15, and 19 to run concurrently with the sentence on count 1. Got that? Okay. Right. Now, sentence on counts 11 and 12. With me so far? Sentences on counts 11 and 12 to run consecutive to the sentence on count 1. With me so far. And now the sentences on counts seven and eight. Yes. Sentences on count seven and eight to be consecutive to the sentence on counts 11 and 12. 
with me. The sentence is on count 11 and 12. So the sentence on count 6, 15 and 19 concurrently with the sentence on count 1. Sentence on count 11 and 12 consecutive to the sentence on count 1. And count 7 and 8 consecutive to the sentences on counts 11 and 12. Everybody got that? There's two consecutive sentences. That. I've covered all the counts. I've covered all the counts, yes. So, so it's twenty one and a half plus six and a half plus eleven and a half. It's twenty one and a half plus six and a half plus eleven and a half. There's a total of thirty nine and a half. Got that? Got that, Madam Court Reporter? Okay. Right. So that's it then for Mr. Brian. You can please remove him from the dock, please, Mr. Brown. That's 39 and a half years in all. Okay? Got it.